Okay, welcome to ETN News. Today we're using Ghost, the Go 16 live satellite radar. It picks up heat on the surface and under the surface. If it's putting out enough heat to see, it has to be hundreds of acres big or miles long. You can't just see little fires, house fires or anything like that. Alright, now let's go through here. You can see this spot heated, heated up. Pops up. And that's on the southeast side of Mauna Loa. You can see a spot right here. Now I wonder what caused this fire or whatever it is right here. This is on the south end southwest a little but anyway you can see it right here it stays just a couple images and then goes out that's i moved it back here's going forward there's one image two and then it's gone okay then we move on over here just making this quick it takes too long to scan okay you see this big streak beam whatever's going on below the island that one hasn't been there or the next one hasn't been there and you see this coming across that would end up in the same spot now let's go over to the fire map nasa fire map and this also shows heat coming from under the surface and on the surface volcanic fires and all and anomalies you can see that anomaly right here it's a different color over here in texas right around where all that blasting is going on it is really a different color i mean it's thick in that area okay hawaii let's go down here and look at this one this is where the Hot spot is located. Okay, we got two. Must be some kind of fires through there, but what caused them? Looks like fires to me. Let's go on streets and see what we see. Get a little bright. Sea Breeze Street down through here. Coconut Drive. Aloha Boulevard, uh, I don't know how they pronounce that. Connor Drive. Okay, right here is the fires. Don't know what's going on there. Now the earthquakes, let's go over here and check those out. Okay, here's our earthquakes. We had a rare quake. It's 2.5 north, northeast of Mo Lake. Wisconsin, 6.2 miles deep. I want to explain something about that craton later. Earthquakes do go through there. It's just they're deeper and they're not reported because they're under that big slab of rock. That is over a million square miles wide. You know, big. Thing is big, but we do have them on the craton. This is part of it. And it's a 2.5. I'll explain something about that later. Need to know. But 1.8 southwest of Ridgely, Tennessee, 3.6 miles deep. And then we got that 2.2 west northwest of Boyle Shows, Arkansas, 1.1 miles deep. That's another earthquake in there. Just have to zoom in to see that one. But down through here, it scatters out as we go. Alaska. You know, as we zoom in, 4.0, 6.2 miles deep, and a 4.3, 26.9 miles deep. That's the only big quakes we have up there. Hawaii, we got to look at that here in a moment, too. Now, first, we got that 7-plus earthquake on the go. Yesterday, I was thinking that it was... 
we was already in five, six days. I mean, I guess the day's just flying by, but it wasn't like that. It ain't even here yet. Let's get a little closer look. Okay, getting a little closer look at Hawaii. And you can see the pattern here. You, you know, just don't look right the way everything's going. And we had some earthquakes across through here that's already disappeared in the last 24 hours. And we got an earthquake down here near that fire. 1.7 Hawaiian Ocean View. It's north northeast from that area. Minus 1.0 miles deep above sea level. And this one, 2.7 miles deep, 1.8. 2.1. And that is in a populated area, I think. Because, you know, checked it out. I think that's a real big populated area or near there. Some kind of city or big town. All right, now let's go look at back over here. Closer look. Got this still going down through here. You know, it goes in a line all the way down to Beatty and around Indian Springs. Not showing sure, nothing around Indian Springs right now, though. 2.0 northeast of Furnace, Furnace Creek. 0 0.1 miles deep. This down here is scattered out, but it's in a straight line right down to San Jacinto Fault. And where these lakes are drying up each year and next year will be worse, the faults is not being lubricated like they should be coming from these lakes and places like that. So it could cause the San Andreas to have a large quake at any time. We don't, we don't know when, but any time. Okay, now we're looking at the other quakes. I'm going to back this up. You see a couple white flashes. All right. We had a couple quakes down here, 5.5 and 5.7. Benny Islands region. These up here are fours, upper fours. I was just looking at how deep they are. I didn't get a chance to check on them. All right. I think it's going to hit over here in this area again. Seven plus earthquake on the move. And here is where we go back. And let me see. Where did I report that? Watch for another large quake. On this one. Let me see where it's at. Got to find it myself. Yeah, right here. 3.1. When we had the 3.1 at Yellowstone, we put out the, uh, you know, the warning. 7 plus earthquake. Watching for it. And that is on the 3rd. And today is the 7th. So that is 4 days. It's getting ready to hit, you know, in the next couple of days for sure. So watch for that 7 plus earthquake. And when it does hit, I think we're going to either have a big aftershocks behind it and keep on for a while or an eruption. But something big has to happen to release that pressure. Okay, watch for that 7 plus earthquake. It is definitely on the move and it will hit. I'll see you next time. Everybody stay safe. And let me explain. It's releasing from here. It's going around the plate. It could go down this junction off the Cocos Plate over toward Puerto Rico or El Salvador, anywhere right through here. Guatemala. Come on down. But if it don't, it should go on around the plate. It's taking too long to hit, so it should be around through here by now and getting ready to hit up here. So watch for it. And I'll see you next time.